good what is good everyone how are you doing hope everyone's doing well pretty excited for today I'm not gonna lie i've always wanted to build one of these i've always wanted to build a jelly evolve i also got this beanie i'm not sure how i feel about it uh, it kind of matched my shirt the pink in my shirt so i was like we'll, we'll wear it today we'll rock the beanie but uh yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Pretty stoked for, for this guy here. Uh, let me see something. Something is kind of interesting. Hmm. One second, team. My, uh, my luck isn't on. I was wondering, I was like, why does my stream look different right now? <laughs> Is that the case? Why are we lacking my luck? About to find out. Um, here we go. Now we need to do the same for this. Yeah, something happened. I, I think I was like clearing off some space on my computer to, you know remove lag and whatnot and um i had to kind of remove a lot of files and it looks like my lut file got removed but there we go we're back we're back to normal everything's looking nice and crispy so i like that it's a little too bright maybe though now That looks a little better. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, soldering crime? Yeah, dude, I like it. I'm here for the beanie. What do y'all think? How we doing? How we looking? I can't tell if it's even, dude. Everything's reversed. I kind of like it. I like the pink. I'm here for it. it feels cozy. Extra Prius, my boy. What's up, man? Think about getting a McFlurry Corsa and putting Dual Shot. <sighs> dual Shot's fire. Like, dual Shot is just too good of a set, honestly. And it looks so good on polycarb. This this build right here. 
Top top five builds. Top five builds. Oh, so good. But I think I think it's a good idea, dude. Yeah, that's definitely possible. Um, Cause it is, you could say it's a pretty basic set, right? Um, Lutz is more with like Premier, but Lightroom's a good place to start in terms of like learning how colors work. Um, I can help you out. I can help you out if you ever need any help, man. I'm happy to help. Hate is a stronger word. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's let's unbox this. I'm kind of excited. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, the board itself, I mean, I've kind of opened it, made sure everything's here. I did go ahead and lube the stabilizers off stream just because I hate taking up everyone's time watching me lube some stabs. But this box is super cool. Like it opens like this. Whoa. Let's bring that more into frame here. You're a neutral color kind of guy. Yeah, that's that's fine. So it's a cool box. It has this like Lamborghini. It came damaged, but regardless of that, it has this like butterfly door Lamborghini vibe. And then there's actually a drawer right here. If I can get it, that pulls out. That has like all the stuff inside, which is pretty neat. Uh, the stabilizers were also snugly in here, but they sent stabies or owl stabs. I've never used stabies, so. I did the V1s. These look like they're V2s. I don't want to like ruin their stabs, so I just went with ones that I know that I'm, I've like built with before. But I'm on. I'm set on the boards I want. Black Orbit with McLon. That'll be hot. And Corso with Dual Shot. Yeah, if you know what you want, you know, that's very good for you. But anyway, here we have our, our accessories. Which we can take a look at these. Nice little accessories box. Comes in some little baggies. So it looks like we have our clamps and our gaskets or feet. These look like they're gaskets and then a ribbon cable with some screws. Uh, I didn't get Darling if you're talking about Kikobo. I do want to get it. Um, it's just right now I don't, I'm not in the position to pick it up financially. So, you know, don't, I can't get it at the moment. I recommend any of you do the same. If you can't afford it, you know, it's just not meant to be. So if I, if I end up missing it, then that's just, that'll be what it is, you know, but I'm going to try, you know, if my position changes before the pre-order ends. <clears throat> okay. So here we have, it looks like our PCB and foams. So we can go ahead and take this out of here real quick. We have PE foam, which we're going to be using all the foams today, chat, just so you know. So we have our PE foam here. And we have plate foam. So could I make a Lutton Da Vinci Resolve and use it? I, I actually don't know much about Da Vinci, so I, I don't want to tell you wrong. Here's our plate foams. I'm sure you could. Just want to make sure to have stable lighting. Yeah, as long as your lighting setup and everything's the same, it shouldn't be much different each time. So here is our board. Or our PCB, rather. Our labs always has really pretty PCBs. Hello? Why you no focus? A very nice PCB, no flex cuts, 1.6 millimeter. Looking looking pretty solid here for Malabs. Might need one for natural light and night then. Yeah, maybe so. I mean, my, mine kind of stays the same, but you know, whatever you think could work, especially if it's like a huge difference. 
case is really nice feeling. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty thick. Okay, so let's move this box for now. It's magnetic too, it feels super nice. Okay, here's the case. Very premium feeling case, might I add. It's like got this like almost leather feeling, leather feeling uh, to it today. I have the aluminum skeleton plate and the um, Swikey's Mocha switches. Pretty clacky. I can give you a little sound demo here in a little bit. Um, love of the portal looks crazy. Yeah, it looks sexy, dude. Your portal is pretty, pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you there. It's looking pretty nice. So let's get this open, opened up. Okay, so here's the B-Sun X switches, which I've never uh, heard of these before. So B-Sun makes some good switches and these sound really good. Nice. I like the color of these too. It's like a nice cream with a blue. These would look great in this board to be honest. Might have to pick some up depending on how I like them. And we will be using those switches today. It comes with a little, I'm assuming this is like a little authentication card something yeah really nice yeah pretty neat has the number pretty cool that's a pretty fancy touch there makes you feel like you bought something nice you know and here's the board comes in this beautiful feeling microfiber cloth Ooh. Okay, this is looking pretty good, chat. Ooh. Hold on. Wait a second now. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold on a second. This looks really pretty. I didn't know it was like... It's like dual tone. So it's like this nice lilac lavender. By the way, this is kind of cool. They have the little cherry logo in here. Very nice. But yeah, so it's like this like nice lilac on top very soft lilac color and then on the back it's this dark rich like this purple oh my god wait a second this might be one of the best purple keyboards i've ever seen that purple is unreal holy smokes whoa Dude, this purple's crazy. Let's let's crack it open so we can see it a little bit better. By the way, um, Austin, I will be wiping this down with your microfiber cloth after. I imagine since it's a dark anno, I'll probably leave some fingerprints, but I'll take care of that before I uh, send it back to you. Don't you worry. Yeah, PC top would be crazy. But wow, I wasn't ready for how good that looked actually. Okay. Oh my gosh. So this is that little, little tabs. We'll get to opening that later, I guess. Wow. Outlabs quality, man. It's, it's top tier. And I'm looking at this and it is very pretty. Here's that, oh my God, look at that purple, dude. This is gonna match so good with Vior, which is the keycaps we're using today. Wow, wow, wow. And that font on that is actually nuts. The font they used is crazy. Wow, okay. I kind of regret not getting, not getting this now. Yeah, I see, I see the, uh, the weight has a thing. Do you want me to peel that or do you, um, Want me to leave that on for you to peel it just, just for safety precaution? I'd hate to get a scratch or something on it because PVD can be pretty sensitive. 
but that's up to you you know it's your board i, I kind of want you to have that that feeling of peeling it yourself that satisfaction yeah i think i'll leave it to you because like, you can kind of get the vibe right now like it's not really making a big difference in visuals um it, it's pretty clear that that's just a gorgeous pvd i'll hold it a little closer for you guys dude this is like oh man this is so crazy looking yeah okay i regret not getting this <laughs> look at that too holy smokes Let's try to get like a good angle of this dude look at that like that space underneath that just looks so sick wow who has kept his sticker on his k or what yeah i mean I don't blame them for keep like PVD is so sensitive to scratch. So and this is this like levitating bottom is actually kind of nuts to look at in person. Like in the renders, I wasn't sure how it would actually look, but this looks insane. Wow, that's proper. That's proper sick right there. I, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but there's just like this super cool. You can see straight through it, like. That's insanely dope. Wow. I mean, that's all you can really say. It's cold in my house, to be fair. This is gorgeous, dude. This is actually crazy. Like, damn. Uh, we're going to be using Vior today. Yeah, it, I got the black eyes from my QK80. We're gonna be building that soon. Um, it's my personal unit. I'm, I'm thinking of going with my ice latte switches and probably DCX latte keycaps. Go for a full coffee themed build. Um, I think that'll be pretty neat. But I got the black eyes for mine. Mine's brown as well. So yeah, let's, let's check this out. I wanna pop this open. So there's these tabs right here that you push in. Oh. Oh, that was cool. I think I got no flex cuts on my QK80. I could be wrong. I'll check it out. But so you literally just push them in and it pops right on up. It's kind of kind of fun. I feel like I'd be fidgeting with that a lot if I had this board. Ooh. Wow. Yo, whoa, thank you so much for uh, the subscription and be. Appreciate you. I also did no foam. Sounds kind of thin. Okay. No, it's not magnets. These are um like I guess gaskets. To yeah, how the case sits, it kind of is. It's acting like a force break. I think. There's no magnets. It all locks in. Like there's a um a lip on these two pieces here. Kind of like if you've ever built like the Ramakara. It kind of clam or like the sonnet it kind of clamshells to the bottom and then these tabs are what clips it in and holds it in place at the top so there's no need for magnets which is pretty cool it's like yeah these two pieces just kind of slip in and then you just push it all down and it's in there pretty neat pretty cool little little guy use the lighter color ones Okay, yeah, I think those are for the gaskets, but it seems that they are already installed, which is pretty interesting. Right? Like, these these are already gaskets, even though they gave us a bag of gaskets. And these are lighter ones, because there was lighter ones and there was black ones. We'll take a look, but I, th I think that's pretty interesting. Weird. So they gave you, like, a whole extra set almost. I mean, I guess isn't a bad thing. You can't really complain about it, you know? Honestly, like, look at this, dude. Look at the uh, little tab. That's so far. Okay, well, let's get on to building it, I guess, right? Um, oh, I was like, where did I put the case? Hold on, let me put this in my lap. Let's move this. That came from somewhere. And let's put the top frame in here for now while we do the board. 
just so it doesn't get damaged in any way. And it has, okay, so my favorite thing and one of my favorite boards of all time is the Owl Lab Spring because it has these same, um, I think, I don't know what they call these uh, style of gaskets, but they are the most comfortable things to type on. Like, oh my gosh, I can't explain to you how, like this, this, this whole build has me so excited. Yo, I'm so, I'm so glad. I hope you like it. I saw that they did drop some extras, so I hope, I hope you did get it. I also can't wait for pumpkin spice latte. Um, yo, thank you so much for uh, gifting us up, dude. Yeah, these are the best leaf springs. So yeah, let's lift it up. Yeah, dang, that's so cool. So there's little nipples on these. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but there's little nipples right there and it just sits right into those little uh, little guys pretty nice pretty convenient we also have our case foam which we'll also be using today and the ribbon cable also is pre-installed so the build process for this board today should be relatively easy i don't know where this piece like came out of. it looks like it was accidentally left in because it looks like the piece that like would fit perfectly in that space right there Okay, bye. Is everything okay? Um, everything okay? Okay. Well, I love you. Hmm? Yeah, come on. I kind of, uh, I'll take this out so I can mess with it more, but. Hello, people. <clears throat> it's pretty, huh? It's like super purple. It's called the Jelly Evolve. Can I go with it? Yeah. What's really cool is if you can see it, it like separates here. Isn't that crazy looking? There's like space in between. So it's like open. It's like a metal kind of thing. Yeah, it's super cool. Well, that, that back angle is kind of fire too. Right there. Whoa. Yeah, it's actually interesting. So the whole USB port is just like out. <laughs> it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. They sent everything that they wanted for the build. Um, those right there. No, those are the like purple. It literally looks like this box, but it's yeah, purple sparkles. Goodbye. Okay, like how she went straight for the weight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some stabs on here. Put this plate aside. Okay. Let's get our stabs installed. Cool. But first, we have to put our PE foam on. I like your beanie, Snoopy. I got it from uh, Cool Shirts. I also got a. If you guys catched our little. <laughs> yeah, I can't even actually hear it right now. I don't have my headset on. Cause my beanie, like if I put my headset on, I just look like really weird. Yeah, it's definitely kind of a little too hard, right? For <laughs> for the stream. <laughs> is, the, is the audio too loud of the music, by the way, compared to me? <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is from Cool Shirts. I also got a pretty cool, I wore this yesterday on stream, but it's this really cool like turtleneck hoodie with all these like, cool uh, designs on it. Pretty cool. Yeah, so I'll be doing some modeling for this soon, <laughs> which should be interesting to see. Yeah, this was this song I tried to use in like a hype video for keyboard stuff, but turns out I'm not very good at hype videos because I don't have those like cool transitions that people do. I'm not trained like that, I guess. Oh. Okay, I need... Where'd I put the... I love this song right here. This song is so pretty. 
<clears throat> Reminds me of like winter. I need to use this song again in a video. It doesn't look like it has to be based on how this is laid out. We'll see. I'm going to test the stabs, you know, before we put the board together completely. So if it needs to be taken out, if they feel like mushy or something to me, I'll, I'll definitely adjust it. But I don't think that they need to be. Because they, they include the band-aids too, but I don't like those personally. So let's take the band-aids out. Unless you want the band-aids, but it's kind of feels pointless since there's already the padding under the stabs. You know? Okay. Where's my screwdriver? Where are my bits? Ourselves a Phillips head. Uvior. Is that, yeah, it's kind of like Pyga, yeah. It's Pyga, but purple with sparkles suspended in the uh, plastic. It's one of my favorite sets from a visual standpoint. Okay. Let's get our stab screwed in. Stab is playing games. There we go. Oh. Bro, magnetic is so good, but also so bad at the same time, you know? Whenever it like slips off. Anybody in here playing the new Genshin update? I pulled yesterday, I got um, the new four star. So I'm pretty excited to build her. I'm still going for the main. Uh, Five star right now, as well. Also, neat course with McClans. Yeah, I love I love this build so much. I just got the novelties in too, so I'm pretty excited to um, put those on it. I just haven't. I want to do like a video about it first, so I haven't really got around to it just yet. But soon, soon we will do it. Promise. I'm so excited for this build. It's just going to be a 10 out of 10. I just know it. Yo, clackbait, what's up, my man? How's it going? How are you, dude? Hope you're doing all right, man. Building a little Jelly Evolve today. Pretty excited to see how it comes out. Okay, there we go. Oy. Yeah, it looks sick, dude. It's a sick looking board. Why are you not wanting to sit in there? There we go. There we are. And I'm excited. I'm honestly excited to use PE foam. <laughs> like, I haven't, uh, haven't used PE foam in a minute, but I personally always have loved the sound. I'm, I'm pretty pumped today. 
Two of my favorite streamers in one stream. Hey, yo. Thank you. Clackbait's the man. Clackbait's a legend. Oh, shit. Bye bye. Come back. Come back. Come back. I don't know where, dude. Y'all saw that stab try to literally run away? That was crazy. Yeah, he's the god of B roll. That is for sure. <laughs> I always say I'll have invented it, so it should be on it, yeah. I've just always loved the sound, personally. I love their spring. It's like my favorite Thaki build that I own. I don't think I, like I ha I still have an extra PCB and stuff. I've never rebuilt it because I just loved how good my first build was. Yeah, the jelly looks sick. This color, this purple is actually insane too. Like off the charts, crazy, beautiful color. You could have told me Clackbait invented B-roll, bro. I'd believe you. Alright. So we got all that installed. Let's do a little test on the stabs. some stabs team the viewer is so pretty wow this is gonna be a banger build honestly you know you were just talking about not having all this crazy transition and here clackbait pops in yeah me and clackbait have literally polar opposite editing styles Which is, okay, I might have to go pick some of these up. No cap. These feel really weird. Really nice. Be some X switches. Yeah, they feel, they feel solid. Let's check them out. When is Clack and Joshua Wiseman teaming up for the two? Who knows? So good, no ticking. Two of four down. Let's see if I can hit the home run, team. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance. Hey. We might be there, extra Prius. Yeah, it, it's a client build, so I can't really change them today. Unfortunately, 
So I'd save your points for a personal build or like a sponsored build. Yeah, sounds sounds good. I can't hear anything right now. It might be different whenever we get everything fully built up. But it sounds all good right now. Where the hell is my switchboard? Keep that for Sounds good, dude. I'm on the right track. Yeah, I should put in quotations like not applicable to client builds. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Tell you what, these owl stabs are gripping. Wow. They're gripping the space bar. Yeah. Yeah, there'll be something. Oh, gosh. That shit was fucking on there, bro. Jesus. Gorilla grip stabs, dude, for real. That motherfucker wasn't coming out. I thought I put Gorilla Glue in there for a second, honestly. So we got the stabs in. Now we need to put in the plate foam. And we can put, where'd that little baggie go? So we can put all these spare screws and stuff back in just in case you need them. Yeah, this board's gonna be thawking, bro. It's a uh, Kikobo. I'm using Kikobo for pumpkin spice. Check out the renders over on my IG. Okay. Perfect. Let's get our plate foam in right here. Foamed up. Not GMK pumpkin spice. That means basic bitch combo with GMK cherry and aluminum. Yeah, yeah that's the Matrix course set right here. It's a godly board. Basic bitch best. <laughs> uh, do you need cave pop gifts made for your Corsa? Um, I don't know. I, I was thinking of getting one from like Genshin character, but I couldn't. I forgot how you make the Corsa gifts again because I was going to do it before stream, but I couldn't figure it out. So Maybe so, Snoopy. Maybe so. But probably not uh, K-pop. <laughs> probably just Farazan from Genshin. Is what I was thinking. Or Ganyu. <laughs> or Kokomi. Not a fan of aluminum plate. Cherry annoys me with their subpar molds. And GMK is okay. Damn. You think GMK is okay? That's crazy. Okay, guys. I got to admit. Yeah, that's a hot take for real. You got to take off the uh, beanie. It's kind of... It's getting a wee bit toasty now. It's mostly the font on Cherry. Gotcha. Keycaps don't really bother me much. I'll kind of use whatever I want to use, you know? It's kind of where I'm at nowadays. <clears throat> Can you shoot me a message, uh, Snoopy? About to act up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everybody calm down. Evan's about to go crazy. 
Thank you, dude. Yeah, because I completely lost how the hell you're supposed to do that shit. So we'll definitely be testing the board to make sure all the keys work. Because the only thing that you have to worry about with PE foam sometimes is that, like, the pins don't penetrate perfectly through. And then you might end up having to um, have some bent pins. So that's something we'll definitely be checking after this. Let me see if they have this marked for me. They do. Uh, no, they don't. Shit. But it looks like... Like the left keys are the ones that we're going to be doing. Bent pins are not the worst thing to fix. Yeah, it's definitely easy to fix. It's just annoying especially if it's like a lot of them <laughs> i'm a spherical top praiser you'll like mt3 because it kind of is so spherical that it grabs your hand and kind of doesn't let go that's why it's a hobby true true austin do you want um regular caps or stepped caps for today I have like five MT3 sets. Yeah, it's like, they're cool. I do wish they would come out with some of those colorways in DCX though. Like some of the Marvel ones or like, um, oh. Yeah, I wanna try MTNU too. I do want to give that a go. These are some nice switches, bro. Yeah, I did, I did get a couple sets of HSA. It's pretty cool. Um, I kind of like it. I just, it's it's definitely something to get used to with the shiny caps. You'll do stepped. Yeah, there's definitely a stepped caps in the set. I was more worried about if the PCB accepted it, but it, it does. So you're good to use it. No, it does. It does. Uh, PPT fans has you covered on, on kidding. So no need to worry at all. And this does have it. So it's pretty nice. There's actually a good bit of layout support on this uh, PCB, considering it's hot swap. The only thing that's interesting is that you are locked into 6.25 spacebar, but it's not the end of the world. We've seen that on other boards too. So... Dude, I know, Klein Blue is so sexy. I kinda wanna pick it up. My girlfriend brought an SA set for the next one. Yeah, so DCX and GMK Cherry is pretty similar. There's not too much difference. I would say DCX feels a little more rounded. Um, yeah, the blue is such a vibrant blue. Oh, DCS. DCS. DCS is pretty good. Um, it's just different because like only the top of the cap has texture, which is pretty unique. And the bottom, or the, yeah, the top has texture, but the sides are like smooth. It's kind of interesting, but it's they sound like more glassy because they're thin. They're like a thinner material. They're, they're way more thin. Uh, so they sound like higher pitch to me. It's nearly as old as Cherry, but a little different. Thinner, but definitely sounds good. Yeah, they're, they're definitely louder. Like if you're into clack, you'd probably love DCS. Yeah, I couldn't tell you about AEK. I don't know nothing about that. This song makes me think of like old school Dragon Ball Z fighting games, like Budokai. I swear there were songs like this in those games. The Clacky Boy. The loud keyboards, that's why I want to try. I, I really want Windbreaker. I've been seeing that set everywhere. Man, I'm like, that set looks so beautiful. I feel like I'm playing Doom now. <laughs> nice.
Yeah, Windbreaker still nice. I like loud, but that's not the loud I want. Could have used the good legends, but no. Uh, I want carbon fiber plate and polycarbonate bottom loud. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Fight Trust, for the follow. Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you're enjoying the stream. My top down camera is kind of blown out. Still. <clears throat> A little bit better, I guess. Yeah, you might like my Envoy, CF Plate, Polycarbonate Case. Yeah, that's how I have my Envoy configured too, pretty much right now. It's one of my favorite board, yeah, Sonnet slaps, dude. I've been wanting to rebuild my Sonnet lately. Got, get a bulk keyboard with a Carbon Fire plate. I didn't like Carbon Fiber until I got my Cappy 60. And whoever he uses to make plates made it S tier because it made me love Carbon Fiber. Carbon Fiber is also one of my favorite plates. And, um, huh? uh, the Envoy is actually what made me fall in love with carbon fiber plates. Ever since then, I've been like hooked on them. Isolated mount carbon fiber is so good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Gigi, same here. I just really like the feeling of these switches. Yeah, I haven't I haven't got FR4 in so long. But carbon fiber like takes so well to long poles, which is like my preference nowadays. So that's why I've been really enjoying it personally. I go Alu over F4. I'll try PP. PP is pretty good. Uh, I do like the sound of that too. Got the Alex Otis. Oh yeah, that dude. Those that that board's probably slapping. Cause I have my tempo is built with the carbon fiber with obscuras, and oh my god, it's mm, it's perfect. Like. Bet one of my best sounding boards, easy. So I'm gonna do a build there for four. I don't like the stabbed keys, huh? I don't know. That's interesting. I'd have to test that to see if I have a similar experience. Get me started. Man. Pretty nice, not gonna lie. I'm digging these switches. Yeah, the obscures are. Very clacky. Some of the clackiest switches I've ever tried. And I love them. <laughs> Hitting the plate just isn't for me. Interesting. Yeah, no idea. Are these like stock Beast on X switches? Are these lubed in any way? Oh my god, thank you so much for gifting. Oh my goodness. You're being way too kind, Austin. <laughs> Pimp, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Stock lubed for the. Wow. Dude, these are like really, really nice. Like crazy nice. And these, yeah, I don't know. You could have told me you lubed these yourself. You know, Rafa picked up the black one. The black uh, Evolve? If so, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this board is sick, dude. I, I definitely kind of want one. <laughs> 
Yeah, stock lubes are getting crazy good. And the hand lube stuff from Affion's been good, but like these like factory lube ones is crazy. Like I mean this this feels so good. Yeah, that feels insane, chat. Okay, so you gotta kind of use a weird amount of force here to really make sure that this bottom piece is locked in before you click it together. But dude, oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, let me read chat for a second here. Um, luckily minor in a 60% with a half plate. Yeah, that's probably good. Very consistent, but now that it's getting colder. Oh yeah, interesting. I always use Vibro Clean and reload my personal switches. Interesting. If you got the SSO2, then yeah, it takes sex. Dude, I have that little fucking hand pump one, bro. There's no shot I'm gonna sit here and desolder a whole board with that. Like I did that one time on a uh, on my portal, and dude, it took me like four and a half hours. Like no joke. By the way, my color chips for pumpkin spice are out for delivery. It's pretty exciting. Desolder like two. Dude, yeah. Would you mind desoldering some stuff? <laughs> How much would you charge? Alright, let's get some keycaps on this. 
shit. So yeah, we're using Vior today. Some of the cleanest packaging you've ever seen in your life. It's like we're about to go march in Mordor. Yeah, this is a nice set. I do saw your full-size razor board with through-hole four-pin LEDs in four hours. Jesus Christ. That sounds like a task and a half right there. Tequila, I apparently do the hot souk as well. <laughs> yeah, that's insane there. The last song made the keycap box seem like the most epic thing ever. Yeah, right? Ooh. The sound, bro. The sound is crazy. Oh, dude, y'all are about to see me get so hype over this. Under an hour, bro. Y'all, y'all gotta hit me up. I might have to send you some stuff to desolder if y'all have the time, cause I need some help for real. Mm. Bro. Austin, you are in for a treat. Let me just tell you. Wow, wow, wow. This is insane. <clears throat> I'm happy to as well. Yeah, just, I need y'all to message me how much you'll charge. Because that'll dictate everything for me, but. Third board ever in your hype. Yeah, dude, this is a fire build for sure. 20 per board. Not too bad. Doesn't matter the size. Holy smokes, dude. This sounds crazy. Good to kill. Okay. Sounds good. Cheaper for 60, etc. Yeah. I'll definitely be hitting you up then. Because, yeah, I need, I need some things done. For sure. Oh, yeah. We're going step caps. Sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, like I want one. Since I build a lot of boards, I just have never got around to getting one. Cause they are kind of expensive. But it makes sense to have since I do build so many things. No, it just takes me too long. Like I don't have the time to desolder with that thing, dude. It's it's it'll take me ages. Like I said, I tried to desolder something with it and it was just like Stuff kept not coming out all the way or whatever. And I would have to like put more in and dude, I was getting like so ticked off. That shit had me ready to fight somebody, legit. Holy cow. Wow, 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 okay. That's properly crazy sounding, I'm just saying. For now, let's put this, uh, Little Gengar artisan up here. I think that'll look cool. Wow, wow, wow. She's attractive. That's for sure. Dude, this, uh, this is so good. This is genuinely so good.
That is a sexy, sexy build. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. This is the Jelly Evolve with PBT Fans V Old. The lilac top and this like purple plum case, like bottom frick case. Like look at that side profile, how this set is like complementing the, the bottom. This is insane. That's actually so pretty. Like that side profile, ouch, I hit my elbow. That side profile goes so hard. Do you see that? Like, you're kidding me with how pretty that is. Dude. Right, let's take a look at this too. You see the uh, the jelly tag right there. Woo. Son, that is a keyboard right there now. That is a board, dude. <laughs> wow, the foam, bro. The foam is in. I'm not going to be able to contain my excitement. Let's do a little type test. Let's do a little type test. <clears throat> Let's do a little type test. I need my headphones off. I need to be able to hear this. Dude, my hair is crazy. Holy smokes. Okay, let's come in. Let's come in closer here. Let's get our mic in, in, in position. Let's come in closer here. For this wow okay this looks so pretty okay so we have all foams pe foam case foam uh all the like palm plates b sun x switches stock with ppt fans vior yo what's up helen uh yeah see how this guy sounds Oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. It's so good.
I could type on that for hours. Hours, dude. That's actually so good. Holy cow. <laughs> Once again, like just the the like accent right here and the side profile. Dude, like this board is crazy. It sounds exactly how I wanted it to come out. Dude, like that angle right there. Whew, that's heat. That is so hot. That's that's actually cracked. I mean that's I mean, and it's so soft to type on. Your jelly is, dude. Uh, the build is exclamation point build for the build, um, but it is jelly evolve fully foamed all foams with B Sun X switches and PPT fans Vior. <clears throat> It's not like super flexy right now, but I think that is because we have the case foam. But it's very soft. Like it does have some flex to the to the board whenever you're typing. But it's nothing like crazy. Um my top three switches manufacturer brands. So I do like Affleon. I've I've got a few switches personally from there. I also like swag keys and I like B Sun. Those are probably my top three currently. That's yeah, so awesome. I hope I hope you like how it came out. I really do. I um I think it came out really great. What's the thing after swag keys? I don't know what you mean by that. Um Yeah, I really hope you like how it came out. I'm I'm super super digging this all together. I'll test everything, make sure you know there's that everything's working before I shoot it back. Do you, are you cool if I take a couple pics of this as well? I'd love to post this board on my on my feed if you're cool with it. Maybe even film a sound test. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool. Dude, this is this is nice. This is nice, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Goodness. I mean I think I think it was a good good build altogether. Altogether super duper happy with it. I haven't built a fully foamed up board in a while and man, I've gotta admit I I missed it for sure. Man, I mean this is this is gorgeous honestly. Absolutely stunning. The machining and like finish on Owl Lab stuff is some of the best. Like all the chamfers, the curves, the cuts, like a, the anno, it's all just flawless, dude. Like really and truly, it's crazy. These are these are factory lubed B Sun X's. No, nothing's done. Which is I've never used them, and holy cow, they feel really good. Like, you, you couldn't tell me these weren't hand lubed. I would have believed you. I've used some B-Sun switches, but these are the most, like, nicely lubed ones that I've tried. A lot of the other ones are lighter lubed, so they're way more clackier. But these are, like, deep and creamy, but they have that clack, too. This is, this is nice, dude. I'm very happy with it. Uh, but yeah, is anyone else live right now? I don't know that anyone else is live that we could raid here. I don't think so. Will the video be saved to watch back? Yeah, I'll um, I might probably post this one on my uh, my YouTube. Um, if anything, I'll leave it unlisted and just give it to you to check out. Uh, if I end up like if it if it ends up having some copyright due to the music or something. Uh, but we'll see. I'll I'll let you know. For a few days and their lube is really nice. Yeah, I haven't tried those yet. I've heard they're really good. 
Um, B Sun been legit with their lube BCPs and wines. Are, yeah, I mean, I have a few you know B Sun switches that I've been using, and and all of them have been really really nice to be honest. So I think they're on the way. You know, yeah, I, I'll I'll keep you posted. I'll go ahead and upload it uh, immediately after this, and see if it pings me for like any issues, and then. Uh, before I make it live, if if there's no copyrights, I'll like use one of the pictures I take as the thumbnail. So um, yeah, I'll keep you keep you posted. But regardless, Austin, thank you so much for letting me build your board. It was an honor, and I uh, hope you enjoyed hanging out and watching me build it. It came out fantastic. So great choice on your end. Your your build specs were flawless. So kudos to you. <laughs> Yeah, if any of you guys ever need anything built, just shoot me a message. I'm happy to build for you. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right. Well, you guys have a good day. And there's no one else live, so I guess we won't raid anyone. Uh, there's no one live that I follow, I'll say. There's definitely people live. But, yeah. Regardless, have a good rest of your day. Uh, I'm going to go get some work done. Got a meeting here in a couple hours. So, try to get some pictures of this and maybe film a sound test uh, before the day's over. And then focus on getting some work done yeah thank you you as well helen uh thank you mandy for being here um i see philip thanks for hanging out unborn pleasure seeing you fitchy thank you so much and austin once again thank you so much for letting me uh build your board y'all have a good day see you next time peace